Welcome to my A-Shampoo Burning Studio tutorial. Today, I'll show you how to burn data across multiple disks. I'll also demonstrate the new Quick Start feature that allows you to create desktop shortcuts for your favorite Burning Studio functions. Let's begin. First, I select Burn Data to reveal the associated functions. I then select New Disk plus Disk Spanning. I can use the plus buttons to add individual files and folders or simply drag the objects from Windows Explorer into the program. Keep in mind that disk spanning does not support splitting up a single large file across multiple volumes, but is meant to be used with multiple smaller files. This means you cannot use disk spanning to burn a 5 GB video file across several CDs. Once I've added my files, I close the File Chooser dialog. The blue bar at the bottom shows disk usage for the added files, along with the number of volumes needed for various disk types. This list is just a suggestion. You're free to mix various disk types to your liking. Bear in mind, that the capacity of a single DVD already equals that of 8 CDs. I recommend you stick to a single disk type. I'll be using two rewritable DVDs, so I click Next to proceed. This is where I select my disk recorder and insert the first volume, in my case a DVD. My files will now be burned to disk. Once the first volume is full, I'm prompted to insert the next empty disk. Another DVD in my case. The program then continues with a burning process without any further interaction. Depending on the amount of data, further prompts for additional empty disks will follow. I get notified once the process is complete. My data is now safely stored on two DVDs. Next, I'll show you how to create a quick start shortcut, that is, a desktop icon. This allows me to instantly open Burning Studio and navigate to the associated program section right from my desktop. I'll use the copy feature to demonstrate the procedure. First, I access the feature in the regular way. Then, I click Create Quick Start to create a shortcut on my desktop. Let's close Burning Studio and try out the new shortcut. It only takes a single click to bring me back to the desired program section. I can now create my own function set on my desktop. Naturally, I can also use folders to further organize my shortcuts or run them from locations other than my desktop. That's it for today. Burning Studio makes it easy to burn large amounts of data across multiple disks. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope that you'll enjoy Burning Studio just as much. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.